Hi there, it's Grandma and it's Saturday. And this Saturday I thought I'd share another Grandma devotion. And it's written by someone real special, but I'll tell you that at the end. It's called, Jesus Loves Me. And the verse is Luke 15, 20. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. He felt sorry for his son, so the farmer ran to him and hugged and kissed him. That's how the story ends, but this is how it begins. Do you ever ask yourself, does God love me even when I sin? Do you feel like you've done something so bad that God can never forgive you? In this quote from the book of Luke, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and telling them some stories called parables. He's telling them one parable called the lost son. Sometimes we call it the prodigal son. In this parable, a young man decided he wanted his inheritance right away. He didn't want to wait. So his dad gave it to him. Then the son left home to live his own life in his own way. Soon enough, living his way didn't work out very well. The son spent all of his money and then a famine came. He was in such a bad state that while he was caring for pigs to earn money, his hunger led him to eating the same food the pigs ate. The son remembered how even the servants at his father's house were treated better than the life he was now living. He decided he would go back to his dad and, and tell him how sorry he was. He said to himself, I'll say to my dad, Father, I have sinned against God and done wrong to you. I am not good enough to be called your son. Please let me be like one of your servants. Then he went on his way. How do you think the father responded? Do you think he said, sure, you can be my servant? Or do you think he said, how can I forgive you? You took your money and wasted it. You don't deserve a second chance. Well, guess what? The father didn't say anything at all like that. Instead, he ran up to his son and hugged him and kissed him and then threw a large party for him. I bet the son was very surprised. You see, God is like the father and we are like the lost son. We have wandered away from God. We choose to do things our way over God's way. But instead of turning his back on us and walking away from us, he runs toward us and celebrates when we choose to follow him. This just shows how loving and forgiving God is. That's how much God loves you. And I told you that I'd let you know who wrote this devotional. Well, this was written by Gabriella. That's right, your cousin Gabriella in London. And I wanted to share it with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you all. Bye-bye.